Shalom, peace. First, I want to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to you, fellow brothers. Pushing out this word in truth and sincerity, should brother cannot coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Shalom. Now, what I want to do is I want to do this lesson, and the lesson is going to be entitled uh, Sing Unto Him a New Song. Now, this lesson was inspired. I watched the Elder Apostle Kabar's lesson, but actually this has been on my uh, my spirit for maybe a week, if not a little bit more, um, about, you know, just sing unto him a new song. And it was, it was the spirit because... Uh, yesterday at camp, you know, we were we were teaching and, you know, a lady came up and she's like, you know, saw, saw all us men, you know, going into the word and, you know, scoffingly or playfully, she said, do you guys, do you guys sing? You know, like we're some type of group, you're like a sing, like a band, you know, she said, do you guys sing? And then, you know, I, I said, yeah, we're singing right now. Okay. We're singing right now. Then I proceeded to bring out a, a scripture, which I have that scripture also cued, if I'm not mistaken, in Psalms. And what I did, all I did was just type in new song in the, the blue letter. And it, it gave me, you know, uh, some scriptures. And then, you know, from there, I just rolled down some scriptures, put some precepts together. Now, there's many more. There's many more as far as comp the, the word, the, the Bible comparing uh, what we're doing and also the word as uh, a song when we actually sp speak these words now she said that you know I brought the scripture out and then on the, on the way back home from camp while we we're walking we just ended camp it was a, a man you know it was a man that stopped us he probably was in his early 50s and uh he said his name was Emmanuel and, and you know he had gray in his beard and as soon as he stopped us. He said, hey, hey, my Hebrew brothers, you know, I never seen a man before. As soon as he stopped us, you know, I thought about, you know, uh, you know, thinking not strange, basically, you know, entertaining angels, which he could have been. a. am going to go into the story, but he could have been an angel. Now, he said his name was Emmanuel. And he wanted to sing a song for us. You know, he wanted, he, you know, he said, you know, I'm not, you know, basically he was down on it, down, down and out on his luck. You never know, uh, uh, you know, angels appear to us all the time. We're, you know, we're just, they're just unaware. We're just unaware that they're angels now. The spirit can kind of give you, keep indicators. Like I said, his name was Emmanuel, which, which I believe that word Emmanuel uh, means God with us. God with us. Or the Most High with us when you break the word down. That was also a, uh, uh, what's it called? A name for our Lord. You know, like a title. When you go into, I believe it's in the book of Isaiah. I'm not going to get it. You you can put it in the description, um, not the description box, but the comment board if you want. You know, but you know, he he basically told us. You know, we were there for maybe two three minutes. He he sung a song. He was very soft spoken. He was very a soft spoken person. He 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 didn't look like he was homeless, but he he could have been. You know, but he looked, you know, you know, put together. He had glasses on. I, I thought, I, for me, I'm the same. For me, other brothers, they can, you know, that were there. They, they can, they can tell you, or they, they can have their opinion. But I, I believe he was an angel through the spirit. Okay, I was just, I was just kind of looking and grinning at him. You know, initially when he came out, I gave him, he gave me a little dap. You know, like a little, 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 uh, little bump on the hand. You know, and, and basically, you know, he sung, he's like, yeah, if I could sing a song, you know, and he asked if, you know, if we had anything, you know, to help him if he, if we liked the song, you know, we can help him with a couple of dollars, you know, but yeah, we, we helped, we, you know, he sung the song for us. He was kind of long winded, but he sung the song for us. But in my mind, while this is going, I'm, 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 I'm in my head, I'm laughing in my head. I'm like, hey, man, this, 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 this dude's probably an of spirit, you know, you know, so we, we give him a couple of dollars, you know, we go along our way and then a brother brought it to my attention that you know uh the elder gabar they were going into the same thing about the song about this being a song you know that very night i, I believe the elder apostle gabar he put up a video 
from their camp about how uh you know that that same topic was brought up you know and we're all we're all of one accord we're all in the spirit it you know just more indicate more confirmation you know uh you know that what we're doing is is the right thing and, and what we're singing okay because we are singing and uh the bible the correct way that we're you know we're using the bible you know is the it's the instrument now let me bring this out psalms 33 and 3 sing unto him a a new song play skillfully with a loud noise what is a loud noise when we go out and we preach okay when we do lessons when we do videos okay uh cry aloud spare not lift up thy uh voice like like a trumpet what is a trumpet it's an instrument so our voice is also uh our voice is also compared to a, a instrument okay and we're, we're we're playing skillfully how how do we play skillfully well precept upon precept line upon line okay here a little there a little okay uh there's also a scripture that speaks about um uh uh how does it go just it, it just escaped me about uh if it come if it comes to me it's right there at the tip of my tongue but if it comes to me you know uh let me you know what let me see something rightly yeah, i believe that's right there second timothy okay second timothy's two and 15 okay so let's bring that out Second Tim two. This this might be the scripture. Let me see. Yep, yep. Second Timothy two and fifteen. Study to show thyself approved unto the most high. Now a, a good musician, you can tell that they're a good musician when they start playing that song. You can tell that they're 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 very well studied or they're very well practiced. They put a lot of time into uh what their craft. Okay, likewise, uh, the, the men here at Great Millstone, also, we are considered the Church of Berea. Okay, because we, we went into the scriptures, we, we studied the scriptures, and we continue to study the scripture, and the scriptures are manifold. Okay, so we get more understanding every single day that we, we uh, dedicate our, ourselves to our crafts. Okay, so when we go out and we do play the instrument, it sounds good. Okay, it's, it's, it's on tune. Okay, you could tell that we were... Uh, you know, we were practicing, you know, we were, we are putting in work. Okay. A workman that needed not to be ashamed. That's right. So we, we, we don't need to be ashamed because we actually put in the work to get the understanding. Rightly dividing the word of truth. See that rightly dividing it. Okay. That's how we're able to play skillfully. Okay. Now let me go into this word new. Okay, I went into it earlier. I was just looking at some definitions. And uh, the, the word here is kadash. Kadash, right? It says new, new thing. But let's go into the root. Okay, which is the same word, kadash. And when you come down here to the definition, it says to be new, renew, repair. Now, this word that we're speaking is not, it's not necessarily new, but more, more so it's renewed. Okay, it's repaired. Okay, because what what happened? Paul said he said there must be a falling away first. This was the same word that was given to the the, the disciples. Okay, over two thousand years ago, starting with our with our Lord Yahweh Shai. He well he told them he told John. Okay, he told the uh, the disciples that they they're going to preach into the four corners of the earth. That wasn't necessarily the time you know where when they uh, uh were on the scene because they all you know most of them got put to death. Okay, most of them died. Our Lord went into the to the sky. Okay, with, with our with our uh with Yahweh went into the heavens. But through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, a comforter, we are able that we have been repaired. Okay, the 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 temple is now being rebuilt. You see that? The temple is now being rebuilt, and then now now we're we're singing unto the Lord a new song, which is the renewed song. Okay. It says to to renew make a new okay this word hey we went down we went down now we came up we came back uh uh into uh you know with the understanding uh what is that ezekiel the 37th chapter the spirit the valley of the dry bones the spirit came upon us we stood upon our feet 
and then we start playing that we start playing that tune okay now there's uh let me see it says renew repair oneself uh to renew oneself okay now i think that was it on that there was another definition or key to to be new to, yeah to re rebuild renew repair so yeah the lord he has repaired us through this word okay and now we're uh we're singing this this new song this it says new thing to fret to be fresh see that because this this is this is something that the world what you know what i want to actually i'm sorry i want to start up i went right to the point but i i wrote down here to start at the top so let me let me actually just do that yeah let me just actually do that. this is uh psalms 33 and 1 rejoice in the lord O ye righteous for praise is calmly for the upright praise the lord with harp sing unto him with the psaltery and an instrument of 10 strings now what is the psaltery and what is the instrument of 10 strings now it's the bible it's the scriptures that is now the instrument okay that we're able to use to be able to sing that song okay and then it says sing unto him a new song play skillfully with a loud noise okay when you see brothers out there they're playing skillfully with uh with that instrument with their with the with a loud noise okay now there's only uh, the, the elect are the only ones that are going to be able to get that word okay and dance to that tune okay and then some of the elect they're going to be able to sing that tune also okay and i have uh let me let me just jump to yeah, let me just go to this scripture here this is isaiah 61 and 1 the spirit of the lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach, to prophesy. Okay, the word preach also means to prophesy. Good tidings unto the meek. So when we speak these words, even though we, we speak about, you know, death and destruction, right? The, the, the elect, they, they don't take that as, oh, this is, uh, you know, I don't want to hear this song because it's speaking about death and destruction or judgment and this and that. Nah, the, the elect, that's, that's still a good song to them. Okay, that's still good tidings because the elect, those things are going to pass over the elect. Okay, yeah, we're moved with fear. We understand those things, but those, those things are to judge the wicked. Okay. It says, uh, preach good tidings unto the, to the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Okay, through this, well, music, Esau goes into it. Music actually can heal you. There's healing benefits of uh, listen to, listening to certain types of music. Okay, even say a, a, a woman broke your heart. What do you do? You'll listen to music, man. You'll listen to music to help bind up that and mend up that heart. Okay, it, wor it works on the brain the same way as, as different chemicals that, you know, that, you know, say you eat certain foods. It's, a, it's the same thing, okay? Uh, the audio, okay? It works, it works on the mind. It works on the heart. The, the mind is the heart, right? We all know that. So this word, this, this word through the prophets, uh, we have been sent, starting from our apostles and elders, to bind up the brokenhearted. We're brokenhearted as a people. We're done. We're, the Jake, Jake is completely finished, okay? The Israelites, okay? The only thing that has been, you know, uh, helpful, okay, and, and, and healing us is this word, is this, is this new song, because prior to this new song being spoken, what what have you been told? Okay, uh, Jesus was white. Okay, God is white. Okay, God loves everybody. Okay, you're poor, but you know what? Uh, still give me that money. Okay, just have just just have faith. Okay, while while you're still in the hood, while your people are being shot, while you're, while you're being uh, preyed upon. Okay, you Israelite situ you your your situation has gotten worse actually. Okay, since slavery, is you you've been worse because your mind is completely warped. Okay, your heart your heart is completely broken. When you see Jake out there, their pants hanging hanging off their ass. Okay, on all, all type of drugs, bugged out of they, their mind because their heart is broken. Okay, their mind to proclaim liberty to the captives. Yeah, we're we're we are we are uh uh captives in 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 Babylon. But through this new song that we're speaking, we're proclaiming liberty, okay, to be free. We're going to be freed from this. We're going to be freed from the bond 
uh, of captivity under Esau, Edom, and other nations, as well as we're going to be free from the bond of these fleshly mortal bodies, okay, that's subject unto sin. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound, America is a prison house, okay? We're bound. We're bound by the, the, the chains of darkness, as well as we're bound under Esau, Edom, okay? We're still in slavery. But this new song that we're speaking, and, and this is the reason why the, the Esau is mad, okay? Because we're singing a song that doesn't have him included in it, okay? That song actually states that he's going to, Judgment is going to come upon him. Vengeance is going to come upon him for what he has done. That's part of the song also. Okay? To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And, and that's what we're speaking. The acceptable year of our Lord is when Yahweh Shai comes back. And the day of vengeance of our power to comfort all that mourn. See? That's what this song is doing. It's comforting all those who mourn. Now, is all Israel mourning? No. All Israel is not mourning. This is only speaking to the elect okay and we're going to bring that scripture out in uh revelation about how this song was only able only the, the 144,000 were able to sing this song okay and through the the 144,000 singing this song okay playing uh on an instrument skillfully lifting up their voice skillfully and singing okay harmonizing one, uh, one with each other okay the 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 elect the rest of the the rest of the uh, the elect of the Most High Yahweh Shai are being sealed. So this song also seals you, okay? Okay. The belief on this song, the belief in this new song, this refreshed, this renewed song, okay? This is Psalms forty and um, forty and three, and he has put a new song in my mouth. See that? He has put a new song in my mouth. What did he tell Jeremiah? Jeremiah said he was young. He can't, he can't speak. He said, before I formed thee, I knew thee and sanctified thee and made you a prophet unto the nations. Okay, he put, he put the song into our mouth. This is not something that we uh, have chosen to do. Okay, the Lord, he set us aside. Okay, well, if you uh, accept it, we have this, this, this has been uh, established before the earth was even created. Before we were even created, the Most High, he already established who the elect were going to be. He already established who he was going to put this new song, okay, into, in, into their mouths, okay? And he has put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our power. Many shall see it. Now, aren't, aren't many seeing this? How are they seeing it? Well, we're out in the highways and hedges. We're out in front of everybody for the whole world to see, okay? We're not, hi we're not hiding. Now, we do do sit-downs. And that's how uh, people are seeing it, okay, even even more so because this, this word is going out, you know, right when this video is uploaded, it's, it, it can possibly, it's, it's on the web, so anybody can access it, okay, the Lord draw you to it, okay, but we're out on the highways and the hedges, and we put it on the net, the internet, okay, and that internet is there to either trap you for righteousness, okay, just like as a, uh, a fisher goes out and they throw the net out into the sea, Okay, uh, good fish are going to come in and also bad fish are going to come in, but those bad fish are going to be casted back out. So sometimes this word also is used to condemn, condemn those who hear this word. Okay, Esau, the other nations. Well, let's, 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 let's see this. It says many shall see it and fear. Now, some are going to fear to repentance. Okay, our people and some are going to fear because uh, their judgment is, is coming. And shall trust in the Lord. So through this new song that the Lord has put in our mouths, many are going to fear and turn to the Lord. Okay, a lot, a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, Israelites are going to be uh, delivered. Okay, there's more Israelites than pretty much any nation out there. Okay, because we are a conglomerate of nations, nations within nations. Okay, the twelve, the 12 tribes. Each tribe is, is is a nation, and then we spread our seed, you know, in all the other nations too. So. We have a lot of Israelites looking like other nations. And you're going to have some of those that are going to believe on the testimony too. Okay, uh, uh, was it John the Revelator saw that? I believe, uh, was that Revelation the 5th chapter? Revelation the 7th chapter? Okay. I'm done there. Like I said, I'm just going to roll through these scriptures that I have. No particular order. Okay. This is uh, Psalms 144. Uh... 
and nine, I will sing a new song unto thee. That yeah, that renew, that refresh song. Okay, and that's the it's pretty much the, the this Hebrew word kadash is pretty much the equivalent of the word kainos. We're gonna get that in Revelation the 14th cha chapter. Okay. I will sing a new song unto thee, O power. This is the new song, okay? Uh the, the glad tidings, the good news unto the, the hopeful elect. Okay? And, and, and with, when you read Matthew the 11th chapter, it, it talks about how we have piped unto you, but you have not danced. We have mourned unto, we have mourned unto you, but you have not lamented. Because even within this song, yeah, there is, you know, joy and, you know, happiness and mirth within the song. But there's also a lot of bitterness, a lot of sorrow, okay, uh, in, in this song also. A lot of fear, okay. Well, the song is multidimensional. Okay, has many has has many different ups and downs. Okay, okay, different different uh, 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 instruments come in. Okay, it's it's, it's uh, uh, like an orchestra. Okay, the drums come in. The drums will kind of go low. Then the trumpet will come in. Then the psaltery will come in, and then different string instruments. Okay, and then it'll it'll a new a, a different vibration of sorrowness or. Uh, of, of happiness of joy and, and a lot of now the song is, is is going into you know our lord literally about to come back okay the, uh, that much closer okay prophes we're prophesying even more okay more videos are going up okay because this because the spirit of the lord is consuming this man this song is detrimental to esau edom that's why he wants to take it from off the internet okay this is single-handedly destroying esau edom and his and his uh, power structure, okay, his kingdom because it's prophecy, okay. The words they have to go out, and we know that the words don't go out void. So as we speak the words, and we just read earlier that the Lord He puts the song into our mouth. As we speak the words, the prophecies start to um, uh, man manifest themselves, okay. Plagues, pestilence, uh, earthquakes, uh, rumors of wars, okay, uh, seditions. Okay, famine of the word, famines. Okay, it says, I will sing a new song unto thee, O power, upon a psaltery and an instrument of ten strings will I sing praises unto thee. Okay, see that? Now, I, I, I was speaking earlier about these instruments. This The, main, the instrument, okay, the multidimensional instrument is the Bible, okay, uh, uh, played the correct way because before... Well, let me bring this out. Uh, yeah, First Corinthians. Yeah, First Corinthians. Because before this new song, this refreshed song, okay, was being spoken, you had Christianity, Catholicism. They were they were literally singing another song that was inviting the whole world. Okay, really, it was disguised. It was disguised as godliness, but it was uh, Satanism. Okay, uh, Jesus the Christ. Okay, uh, they was they they put Mary on a on a, a pedestal. They put the woman on the pedestal. The woman can the woman can uh, uh, you know uh, teach. Okay, just confusion confusion, all different types of uh, doctrines and beliefs within the same Christianity Catholicism. Okay, but here, you know, starting with Great Millstone, we all speak the same thing. We're we're all playing the same tune. So you can have, uh, we're, if we're an orchestra, okay, you can have a, a brother come in and, 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 and play right into the orchestra, okay? Go right, go start right, playing right in there, and it's, and it's going to be on tune. It's not, and it's not, and it's not, it's not going to be off tune. It's going to sound the same. Now, now, if it don't sound the same, then we're going to be looking at you some type of way. Hey, man, you, you, you playing it wrong. You got, you got to play it the right way. All right? And if you don't get with it, then you got to get lost, okay? Because you're going to mess up the whole song. Okay, and the Most High is very particular, particular on how his song is being played. Okay, because this is not our song; it's the Lord's song. He put the song into our mouths. Okay, we didn't sit here and create the song. Okay, and that song is is the truth. Okay, the hundred percent truth. For I think that the Most High have sent forth us the apostles last, as it were appointed to death, for we are made a spectacle unto the world. And unto angels and unto men. Now there was a definition that I wanted. 
that I kind of wanted to link up with that scripture. I might not be I might not be able to find it. It's okay. It's not a, it's not a big deal. But let me see. So now that the Lord he sent the apostles uh was it uh I think it was Give me give me one moment. Let me see. Yeah, I'm not. It's it's okay. No, no biggie. Let me just go back to that and read it again. For I think that the Most High have sent forth us the apostles last. Okay, so from the apostles and elders on down, the new song was uh 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 you know was was amplified, and that's how we got the song. Now we're singing a song. Now prior to that, right? Prior to that, it was another song being played. Okay. It was another song being played. Now this this song, everybody, uh, people people are looking at this song as a spectacle. See that it says, as it were appointed to 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 death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world and unto angels and unto men because we're singing this this uh this new song. Let me come here to Revelation. And I have that word there. I I really wish. I mean, if the Spirit allow. Let me come down here in the new again. Because I was looking up the definition. I might have glazed over it. Yeah, it, it is what it is. The show, the show must go on. Let's go to Revelation 14 and... I mean, maybe if I might start up. Well, well, hey, in the heavens is you know there's all type of singing. The Most High loves singing, okay. But he, there's a particular sound that the, that the Lord is dealing with. This is Revelation 14:1, and I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty-four thousand, having the Father's names written in their forehead, okay. That the wa, okay. The understanding, okay. The the prophet, the hundred forty four thousand are the prophets. And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as a voice of great thunders, thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping, with their harp. So so John the Revelator, he's he's he has his vision and he's hearing, harping harps, okay. In the, in the heavens, man. So you know, hey, man, that music in the heavens is bad, and that's gonna be uh, duplicated on the planet Earth once we come we come into power. But what we're doing right now is the same thing. The Lord is very well pleased with the song that we're with that we're singing. Because all these other songs, they're the Lord's gonna stomp out. Okay, nobody's gonna have a platform. Okay, the only ones who gonna have that song, okay, is gonna be the it, that's making sense. Okay. That's not confounded. It's going to be the song that we're singing, okay? And they sung as it were a new song before the throne. So we're singing, we're singing before the throne. The Most High is hearing this song, okay? And you, you actually have angels come down. Well, the well, I believe he was an angel. He wanted to sing a song for us, okay? He said, "Hey, my Hebrew brothers." And then I was like, "Hey man, um, afterwards, you know, we gave him a little, little bit of, little bit of money." I was like, "Hey man, uh, how you know we, how you know we was Hebrews?" He said, "Oh man, I watch y'all, man." He said, "Yeah, I'm from the, I'm from the tribe of Judah." You know, he said he was from the tribe of Judah. He said he was from Florida. You know. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and and before the four beasts. And the elders, and no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty or four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. Okay, the 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 heads of the of the nation of Israel, the hundred and forty four thousand, the prophets, the the, the true prophets, the hundred forty four thousand will be singing a particular song, and they will be in unison. Okay, they will be in unison. There no there will be no schism. That song will be sound. Okay, nobody will be playing off tune. Okay, so we're singing that new song before the, the Lord, okay, the, the, the four beasts, which are the archangels, the, the 24 elders, okay, 
of all hosts of heaven, man. The world that the angels they 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 uh they they're watching, they mar they marvel at us. Okay, they marvel, they be they're literally watching us. And they are mar and they marvel. Okay? Let me uh look at this word here. I already know what it is. It's new, it's kainos. This was it, this was uh yeah, okay, this is it right here. This is it right here. It's a particular definition that links back up with 1 Corinthians. So that, that's that's where it was. It wasn't in Psalms. So that word here is kainos. It's, it means new as respects form, recently made, fresh, recent, unused, unworn. Okay, this is a new thing on the earth, man. Okay, this song that we're singing is completely different from any other song out there as respects of you know, spirituality or, or the Bible, okay? It's totally different. It's unused, it's unworn, it's fresh, it's recent. This is a recent thing. Why? Because this, is, this, this was supposed to be spoken at the end, the last days. But really, this was spoken over 2,000 years ago when our Lord came on the scene, okay? It says, of a new kind, okay? Unprecedented. Now, that's the word that they're... Uh, that's a key word that's that's thrown around a lot, okay, in uh, uh, mainstream media, okay, just in in general around the world right now because things are unprecedented, as well as this 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 new song is unprecedented, okay, it's, it hasn't been, uh, and and in this day and age, this this song had never been uh, heard before. That's why people are freaking out, they're bugging out, okay, because within within this new song, okay, there's uh, there's a a elect number that are being woken up. Okay, changing their ways. Okay, coming back unto the Lord. Okay, uh, denying uh, Babylon, denying America. Okay, knowing who their enemy is. Okay, noble, which means new. Like you have the noble, the the the, the, the Corona. Uh, I shouldn't even said that. You know, it says uncommon. Yeah, this word is uncommon. Now, uh, I wanted this definition here. Unheard of. Okay, why? Because the Lord, he sent forth the apostles last. And that's the point that I wanted to get, uh, wanted to, you know, uh, make. Okay, was this, this word is actually unheard of. Why? It's because there's been other platforms, there's been other songs. Okay, well, the song of Murph. Okay, the song of Murph has been, has been spoken for hundreds of years. Okay. Okay, that, that new song. That refreshed song, okay, that recent unused song, okay. This this song is undefeated, and, and there's no other, well, just like the scriptures say, uh, none of us shall want her mate. There's no other song that you can compare this song with, okay, the Bible, okay. There's no other book, okay. Well, if well, if you have uh if you if you know how to read music, this is this reading the scriptures like reading music. Okay, it takes skill to read music. Not only to read the music, but to play the music. Okay, so no other, you, there is no other book or or, or or forms of music that you can that you can put with this new song, which you can that you can mate, bring together, okay, and and, and play, uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 you know, like two bands coming together, two songs coming. Now you can't do that. It's gonna throw it's gonna throw the whole tune off, okay. It's gonna throw everything off. Now I think I'm. Uh, let me see. Where? Let me get my. Hold on. I wrote it down. Give me one second. Okay, that that was it on that. That was it on that. So let me just read this scripture once again, and we'll just pretty much close it out. You know, yep, the, and, yeah, let me go down. Let me go down. This is uh, Revelation 14 and 3 again. It says, and they sung as it were a new song. So we understand what that new song means. Kainos, which means uh, unheard of. Okay, unprecedented. Okay, refreshed. Renewed. New. Okay, that's why people, there, there's a lot of people like, what, what is this? We got, we got the 12 tribes sign up. We're telling we're telling you about prophecies. We're telling you who all the nations are. 
We're telling you that the Most High, the dark skinned man, his son is dark skinned, the angels are dark skinned, the people are dark skinned. We're telling you, we're, we're telling you all type, we're telling you things that you've never heard of. Okay, we're singing this before the throne. It says, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. And there's certain men that try to learn this song, but it ain't, but it's off. Okay, and that's how we're able to identify. Okay, they they can't quite play that song. It might have a re resemblance, a resemblance. Uh, a res uh, I'm sorry, I'm messing all the word up. A resemblance. That's that's not even the word, but you know what I mean. Okay, of the, of the song, it resembles the song. Okay, there we go. It resembles the song, but it's not quite the song. These are they which were not defiled with women, meaning any other song, okay, the ph philosophies, okay, ultimately, okay, which, which you could say this truth is a somewhat of a philosophy, okay. It says, for they are virgins, they, uh, and these are they which follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits of the Most High, and to the lamb and in their mouth see was found no guile for they are without fault before the throne of the most high okay so in in, in the mouth of the elect the 144,000 the the whole elect there will be found no guile because that there's that song that they're that they're singing that new song the refreshed song okay unprecedented song okay unheard of song to this world okay there was the, it was it wasn't off tune Okay, it didn't have any somebody put because the Lord he he already had the song, the song the song is supposed to be sung a, a particular way. Okay, he's the composer, he's he's the one who wrote the song, and we're we're just we're just uh, supposed to sing it. Okay, we're just supposed to sing that song, and and and, and we and that and the elect they won't and put their words into that song, change the song up. Okay, so no guile was found in their mouth. So I pray that you brothers will edify until next time. Shalom to the elect.